Tile patterns, border cuts, freeform serpentine cuts, and elements of geometric patterns are a few of the many good reasons to become proficient with engraving track-free. Cutting track-free when possible has advantages of greater speed and at times is the only method or just the most expedient way of accomplishing a pattern. As much as possible, all track-free engraving should be completed prior to other tracking device controlled engraving. Track-free engraving is easier to control when there are fewer distractions for the wheels to encounter. When making adjustments or changing components of engraving tools, you must disconnect and unplug the tool from the electrical power source. The super compact engraver comes with multi-directional wheels installed. Change them to straight line wheels to do track free cutting. Here there are options of using single wheels or dual wheels on each corner of the engraver. Long straight runs on flat concrete will cut well with dual wheels mounted. Single wheels may be better if the slab is wavy, uneven, or when cutting freeform curves. With a little experimentation, you will discover which setup is best for you. When you are track-free cutting, the front pointer and rear sight are used as pointing devices to keep the engraver on course. Aimed at a straight chalk line, even a beginning operator can make nice straight cuts. Using the 3 16 hex T handle, attach the rear sight with the nut and set screw combination. Unplug and disconnect the engraver from the electric power source before making adjustments. Turn the engraver upside down. Place the head of the combination square on the frame with one end of the rule pointing at the center of the engraving blade. At the other end of the rule, check that the pointer disc is next to the edge of the rule. If not, release the jam nuts and adjust the disc. Make a trial run to check the front pointer and rear sight alignment. Snap a chalk line. With your equipment disconnected from power, make some practice runs, pretending you are cutting the chalk line for approximately three to five feet. Then carefully stop and release downward pressure on the handlebar while keeping the front pointer steadily over the chalk line. Look underneath the engraver to see if the blade is centered on the chalk line. Make any adjustments needed and then recheck the blade alignment over the chalk line. After removing and then reinstalling the rear sight, always recheck the alignment with the blade. If you need a place to check tool alignment, cutting depth, or merely to make some practice cuts, use a piece of concrete wallboard, old chunk of concrete, or an old piece of plywood. 